In this video, we shall learn how to merge using skew heaps. Let us insert the elements 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 15 one by one into the heap. Initially, the heap is empty. Now, 10 is get inserted into the heap. So, single node uh, is created and this forms the skew heap. Now, we add 20 into the heap. So, single node heap is created. This is the left heap and this is the right heap. We need to merge these two heaps. So, how do we do? First, the root nodes of the two heaps are compared. To the right of the minimum node, we have to merge the other heap. So, 20 is merged to the right of 10. After merging, the subtrees have to be swapped. So, 20 comes to the left of 10. Now, we insert 30. Single node heap is created and it is the right heap and this is the left heap. So, the root nodes are compared 10 and 30. 10 is minimum. So, to its right side, 30 is merged. After merging, the left and right subtrees of 10 is swapped. So, 30 becomes the left child and 20 becomes the right child of the node root node 10. Now we insert 40. So single node heap is created and the root nodes are compared. So 40 has to come to the right of 10. Again 20 and 40 are compared. So empty node is created to the right of 20. So 40 is brought to right of 20. Then the left and right subtrees of 20 is swapped. So 40 becomes the left of 20. Then it has to be repeated for the root node also. So the left and right subtree is swapped. Now let us insert 50. The root nodes are compared. Then 30 and 50 the subtree root nodes are compared. So it has to come to the right of 30. So 50 is merged now. The left and right subtree get swapped. Then once again the left and right subtree of root node get swapped. So this is the final result after 50 gets merged into skew heap. Now let us insert 15 into the skew heap. So the root nodes 10 and 15 are compared. So it has to come to the right of 10. Now 20 and 15 are compared. Here 15, this right heap has the minimum root node value. So this subtree 20 and 40 has to come to the right of 15. So after merged, it comes to 20 and 40 comes to the left of 15. Then it has to be returned to the right of 10. Now it is merged. Then the subtrees have to be swapped. So this is the final skew heap after 15 gets merged. Now let us try to insert the element 5. So 10 and 5 are compared. So 10, this left heap has to come to the right of 5 because this has the minimum root element. So the entire subtree gets merged to the right of 5, then it gets swapped. So this is the final result once 5 is added to the existing skew heap. So NPL doesn't play any role in skew heap as like leftist heap, whatever the uh, height of left or right subtree, once merge is done, the subtrees have to be swapped. This process has to be repeated for all the elements. So for merging the nodes, the elements into the skew heap or leftist heap takes log n time which is less than order of n. Thank you.